Over the years, um, especially in Utah, you, um, I've come to meet people that we've called fakins that were obviously heavily influenced on your dress, um, sometimes even the car, bike setup, <laughs> etc. Um, do you have anything to comment on that? What does it feel like to be such a trendsetter? Uh, it definitely feels kind of weird. I mean, I've even had people come up to me and be like, Hey, Mikey, this guy looks totally like you. What do you think? And like, look at him. He looks totally like you, huh? I just look at him. I'm like, the quick, the easiest way I can think of the Dodgers is I'm, I'm like, yep, looks like I'm looking right in the mirror, man. Because, <laughs> I mean, what the hell do you say to that? <laughs> oh, you shit. Just in time, we got a question from him. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yo, what's up? Yeah, put, put, yo, put, right put you on the speakerphone. We're live. Yo. You <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> All right, let's hear it. I have a yeah. That sucks. <laughs> you know, Mike being uh, spinning into his forward foot and kids making such a big deal out of people being which foot forward and spinning this way or that way and making such a big deal out of it. How does he feel about that? Like, just how people make such a big deal about which way people spin to which foot's forward and making uh, such negative comments or just whatever about that stuff. I think it's kind of silly, honestly, because riding, there's no certain way to, I mean, they always tell you in life, there's no certain way to do it, it's something. And then I didn't know there was a certain way to ride, and when I found out that their kids were like, you spinning then towards the wrong foot. I'm like, what? <laughs> I just ride, man. I'm just spinning the way that feels the best to me. And they're like, yeah, you spin the wrong way. You're dick-footed. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> I'm gonna smash you, man. <laughs> I'm gonna smash you and your dick, you fucker. Now you're gonna smash up. <laughs> But no, I, I don't think there's any wrong way to do anything, you know, just do what feels the best to you and fuck everyone else that says you're doing it wrong, so. Oh, yeah, I like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Else also dick-footed. And for all you people that say I'm dick-footed, fuck you. Just kidding. I, <laughs> I, I spin the wrong way. I'm not dick-footed. <laughs> Elf is. <laughs> Elf is dick footed. All right, what's the other question? This better be good. You gotta put him on the spot. All right, uh, pretty much a while back, Mike, you know, kind of started dressing a certain way, tighter jeans and whatnot. Uh -huh. Everyone started pretty much copying exactly how he rode, exactly how he dressed. <laughs> and it pretty much, I don't know, it's gone out of control. And he doesn't even really dress like anything like how kids have taken it, but how do you feel how kids have taken home pretty much? In my opinion, he started a lot of how. <laughs> That's funny because we we already called him out on starting girl pants and BMX. Oh man, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. People took it uh, to a whole nother level, and I don't know, just basically his comment on that one. My wife started working at a place that got into fashion jeans and they sold them and she started getting me the fashion pants that were, she could buy, buy them for like throughout trade for her work for like 40 bucks. She'd get them to me and uh, people would be like, man, you're riding those like diesels and sevens and stuff? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> they're 40 bucks, man, of course. And then people started taking a little bit too far and buying all the chick jeans and girl jeans and I'm like, man, <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> so people definitely take stuff too far in anything you do, you know? You gotta be careful out there. <laughs> I, I'm sure kids, I mean, look at the, all the, what are those kids? The Fakins? No. <laughs> I mean, now the, um, uh, the, what are the big jeans and all the chains and the black and... Juggalos? Yeah, oh, dude. dude, those kids are nuts, too. <laughs> I saw one the other day, me and Trista were in the store and I saw one that said, I fuck dead people, his shirt. And I was like, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I know! I was like, man, he's just wearing that. <laughs> Alright, well, I gotta go slow motion. You drinking some more alcohol. Alright, man. Alright. Alright, well, I'll talk to you guys again soon. Alright. Alright. Later. Later, Alright. You wanna, like, I'll just do the last yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, what's your favorite thing about riding? So, if you have, like, one lesson you've learned or one way that your, your opinion on life or your thoughts on life has changed over the past couple of years, like, what would probably be the most important thing that you've gotten out of it that's changed your life? Um, cool. I've just learned to basically, you know, things can change in just one day. I mean, just learn to not take anything for granted. I mean, things as little as, I mean, something as simple as breathing and, I mean, just walking and eating. All that little stuff you just take for granted. I mean, just the simple, tiny little things. I've learned to just enjoy life and 
just the, every single little simple thing. So when I ride now, I'm way more psyched than before I took it for granted, you know? Like just pedaling down the road puts a smile on my face when before I, I would be all stressed and stuff. And now I'm just happy to even be on a bike and be out and about, I mean, cause they told my family in Pennsylvania I'd be a vegetable. So to even be out and riding is a gift from God. So, I mean, no, it's, it's perfect. <laughs> Uh, yeah. um, all right, it was a real honor getting to interview you. And uh, if you have anybody you want to thank, your sponsors, or your wife, or whatever. Yeah, I, first of all, I'd like to thank my family for going through everything with, with me, and my wife, Trista, and Owen, of course. And then all my sponsors for sticking around. I mean, Fit, Rockstar, Fox, Odyssey, Low Tech. I couldn't have done it without all you guys. 5050, I mean, they, they're a huge help getting everyone to rally around me at home. And to all my family and friends, I mean, all you guys at home that have just helped me out a ton. Thanks, everyone. And everyone all over the world who uh, helped me out by doing all the donation. It really means more than you know. Thanks a lot. Thanks, man. Yeah.